Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Checkpoint! It's Steve here, we are back in Happy Room. But first, on the previous adventure... Yay, we did it! Finally, holy shit. And we got the saw for that! Alright, let's get on with the saw. Oh, are we gonna get 15 seconds? Oh, it's not quite enough, or is it? Yes, it is. Awesome. Oh, look, his, his toe's getting stuck there. <laughs> Alright, so now you're up to date. Uh, let's get back into this. So we've got all this new equipment that we can use and when I mean equipment I mean, uh, you know deadly weapons of mass destruction. So so right here. We've got a minigun We can put the minigun like here and here and we also have a shotgun We can put that there and there and uh, actually I don't think this worked last time I, I let me let me just try it out. I haven't actually tried these things out yet Why are they not shooting do your thing do your thing damn it. They are not doing the thing we need to get them to do all the things. So, first of all, let's have a look at our uh, stuff that we can do at the top here, all these challenges. So we've got, uh, shoot seven shotgun shells. It's not your daddy's shotgun, cowboy. Well, I'm not get, I'm not making good progress on that, let's be honest, uh, because the shotguns aren't really doing anything. So maybe it might be a good idea to invest in a challenge. Ah, look, that lets you put it on the floor or on the, on the wall. That sounds good. We only have one Euro, one death dollar, I'm gonna call it, because that's what this game is about, causing death and earning dollar. Um, so maybe I should, yeah, fuck it. Fuck it, it's fine. Alright, so let's get the uh, shotgun, which we can now place on a 360 degree axis, and let's put it right here, so he falls right onto it. And, uh, let's put these guys here, let's see what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> They're like, doing keepy uppies with him. Oh, there we go, seven shotgun shells already. Nice, they don't seem to have much range on them, but they, they seem like a cool thing to have. Alright, let's improve on this. Let's do something like this. Um, and they don't really have much, um... Much, uh, range on them either. So, they're not gonna be able to hit him if he's in the middle, I don't think. Either way, let's try it out. We'll put some spikes there. Let's see what happens. So, he falls, gets stuck there. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, friend. Oh, that one had one more to go. He wasn't done yet. Oh, and he's not done. He's an angry little shotgun. All right, let's try these this with our uh, miniguns. So let's get rid of all these shotguns and put in a couple of... Oh, wait, no, we can't put them there. Right, so what we need to do instead of having some spikes there is get a good old-fashioned... What the... What is that? Block? Place a weapon on a block. Okay, so this must mean we can, like, place weapons, like, anywhere. Oh, this is cool. Oh, we only get one block? Fine. Fine then. So can we put... Oh! Alright, that changes things. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> that headshot! I don't know why his heart came out of his head. It might have been his brain, actually. That makes more sense. Really? Does that thing only have one shot? Is that what this is? Right, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a perpetual... We're gonna do one of these. One of these things! One of these things! And we're gonna see how we do. Oh! Well, he didn't even really get through that portal, so that's not- that's not good. Uh, maybe we should do some, like, jumpers to, like, fling him back over. Obviously, we don't want him to go too far, though, so we'll put one over here as well. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh. Well. Fine. He's doing, like, a yoga pose now. That's okay. Uh, we've got a lot of money here. We've got- we have all the credentials, all the things we need to make a good- Killing machine. A well-oiled, fine-tuned killing machine. So why do we do that? Um, let's just use a combination of everything. And let's see what we can do. Uh, so we have the blocks, of course. We have the saws. Um, maybe we should use the blocks for something. I think we can only get one block, though, which isn't fantastic, is it? It's not ideal. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, so what's going to happen here is he's, he's going to fall down. We're going to use our patented bouncy uppy technique. And he's going to land on these spikes. And then, uh, we're going to have, ooh, a, a block right here with a weapon of some sorts. Uh, potentially a minigun. Uh, oh, look, we could put on either side. Is that a bit close? Maybe we should move that back. Hold on, hold the fern. Here we go. It's cool how it stays attached. Uh, right, and now we don't get to use any more of that stuff. That's okay. Um... I'm thinking, though, when, once he gets flung over there, 
Uh, once he get, once he falls down and bounces back up and he gets shot by the minigun, he's going to fall over this way. So we need something here that's going to deal with him when he comes over this way. And I think we need a jumper, uh, maybe two, to bounce him back over. And uh, waiting for him as well, a shotgun. So he's going to get flung over this way now. And uh, right here, he's going to fall into a teleporter, which is going to teleport him back in. It's going to be a perpetual motion of pain and misery and horribleness. You just wait. You just wait. It's got to work. Uh, we'll put some swords here to catch him. Uh, obviously, we'll turn them in the correct direction. Like so. We'll do that right now. There we go. Uh, and for good measure, we'll put a shotgun here. There we go. That should work. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. I wanted him to get over. There we go. Oh, he landed on that saw. Oh, is he going through? He's going through. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever made in my entire life. Holy shit. <laughs> Not for like the pure like how much um, damage he's earning, but like for the pure spectacle of it. I think he might be falling into that portal. Let's speed it up a bit. I think he's trying to get in there. He's kind of doing a little spasm thing. He wants to wriggle his way in there. Come on, dude. You can do it. I believe in you, number seven. Come on. Not quite. Not quite. Well, that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. So let's work on this. Where did we go wrong? Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. I think what we need is a mine. Mines solve everything. Let's just line this area with mines. Just so he has, you know, something to keep him excited. Um, something to keep him going. Uh, and we'll put some spikes here in case he falls up here. Uh, of course, we've got this area. Let's put some spikes here in case he wants to, like try come up this way. Uh, I don't I don't think it's going to work though, buddy. Here we go. We'll put some... Um, nah, this should be fine. Let's try this out. Let's just see what happens. This is interesting there. Oh, look. This this minigun or this shotgun wants some. Oh, he did like a cartwheel there. Oh my god, look at this. He's like a, a, a fish in a barrel. I almost called him a duck in a barrel there. I don't think that's, what, uh, that's right. But again, when he gets here, nothing's happening. Sir, one way to remedy this is have some saws. Pushing him that way towards the the portal just to keep it going. All right, so up he goes. Stuck there. That's fine. That's good. Number nine. I'm sorry. You, you've got the worst punishment yet. That shotgun really goes for it, doesn't he? Along he goes. Ah, down he goes. There we go. Right, so this is, this is working. This is working good. I've got my hands off the keyboard now. I'm just admiring my good work. I'm, I'm very proud of this. I'm very proud of what I've created. Down he goes. Oh, yep. Look at this. Look at this per perpetual killing machine. What are you doing, dude? He's like gripping on. Come on. Is he not going through? Really? He's right there, though. Well, god damn it. Well, what the hell? No. Oh, jeez. No. Good grief. No. No, no, no. This will not do. This will not do. Simply, this will simply not do. That's not working. Uh, two shotguns can go here now. Just to give him a little bit of a push. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, down he goes. Gets flung over this way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No! <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. We are doing a lot of damage here. We're aiming to break our record. I don't think we're close yet, but... We can keep trying. Okay, this just seems... Alright, that's gonna blow up. Where's it gonna fling him? Back onto the spikes? I think this is it. Did we reach the record? Let's have a look. No. No, look at that. We were about... I don't know, like 6,000 points out, 7,000 points out, 8,000 points out. Um, 800, sorry. 800, 700, 600. I don't do maths. Shut up. I don't do numbers. As you can tell, this test subject is number 47. Okay. Um, so what have we got? You Use a mace? We need 1,000 minigun damage. Uh, 2,000 damage. We're still chasing that. Did I not hit that with this one? I totally did. How did I do that? We need some crossbows. Old Faithful Crossbows. That's what we need. Um, I Actually, I feel like when he gets stuck up on the spikes, we need a crossbow to kind of push him along. Actually, I think we need a mine there because that kind of kept him going when he was over there. So let's put a crossbow here. And then uh, we should be good. Let's go. Yeah. All good. All good. Those crossbows did some serious damage. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're having a field there. This is like the best day ever for these crossbows. They just love doing the job. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Look at this shit. <laughs> This is a bit. This is the best thing I've ever made. I am so proud of this. 
So, so proud. Yeah, there we go. That's like 2,000 damage. And it's not over yet, number 11. Erna. You're constantly getting pummeled in the... Oh, my God. My screen went off. Let's uh, fix this. Let's remedy this. Jesus Christ. Well, that was a technical hitch I wasn't expecting. Um, and now to fix this there. I, if I just fiddle around with the wires down here... There we go. There we go. Right, so that should stop happening. What happened while I was aware? Did I get my mace yet? Did I unlock my mace? No, I'm still chasing the mace. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you a replay of this since we didn't see most of it since my fucking internet fucked up. Alright, let's go. Right, so up he goes. Across he goes. He gets stuck there. Like a budget Spider-Man. Uh, Spiker-Man more like. He just- I don't even know what happens here. He gets lost in some type- some type of vortex right there. Um, flung across. Oh my god, it's like tennis! It's like tennis. Holy crap. This actually is like tennis. Maybe I should make a tennis-themed one. Oh, that's such a good idea, Steve. Alright, here we go. Um, no, that probably won't work, actually. Let's- let's not get too ahead of ourselves. So what do we need to do? We need to up the ante a little bit. Um, more miniguns? I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, why not? Um, I feel like there should be something here. Um, let's try this. Uh, yeah. All is good, all is good. Mm-hmm. He can just walk this off. Just a quick, a quick trip to the doctors. Oh man, number 13, unlucky number 13! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Um, it's not an ideal situation to find yourself in. Imagine if you just woke up in here. God, that'd be a real shame. Okay, so now, he kind of comes to a stop and it doesn't work. All right, I think we've seen all we can see with this with this current get up. So let's uh, delete everything. We need that minigun damage. Did I upgrade my minigun or my shotgun? Uh, either way, I can't do anything now. Uh, yeah, we need to upgrade the the minigun. Okay. Um, well, what we'll do uh, is do something like this. So that's gonna push him all the way to the left, and then. Hopefully, what's going to happen here is we're going to have a, a floor of spikes and a ceiling of spikes like this. And then we're going to have a bunch of, you guessed it, miniguns like like this, like, like that. We should have spaced them out a bit more. Oh, yep, yeah, one can fit here as well. No, surely it can fit here. No, really? All right, then. Uh, that's fine. Uh, maybe we should move this one up further. Uh, in fact, let's just move them a little bit more, just so we have enough space for our friend, the, um, the, uh, minigun. Because, uh, a lot of these guys aren't gonna be able to fit in if this big crowd of them is not gonna work. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a full wall, a full house. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is genius. Holy shit, look at that. Oh, hot damn. Nice. And those spikes are still going to deal damage as well. Have we got any more juice in those miniguns? No, I don't think they can reach that. Deal 1,500 axe damage? Axe damage? What? What are you talking about? What do you- what, what you talking about, Willis? What does that- what? Axe? How does that even work? Alright, so what happens here is he can kind of get stuck on these things. So I think what we need here is some jumpers that bounce him back up into the spikes. Uh, and then if he wants to try any funny biz business and go over like this way. More thumpers or jumpers. Sorry, I keep calling them thumpers and I don't know why. I don't know where that's coming from. Which will bounce him back over. Let's try this. Across he goes. Yeah, nice. <laughs> he keeps getting flung back, back and forth. It is like tennis now. Oh, they can't reach him when they're there. That's such a shame. Maybe the thumpers or the- fuck, jeez. Stop that! I need to stop that. Maybe the jumpers should bounce him back over that way. Here we go. He's going back over for round two. And across he goes, but he's going to hit that one. No, how can they not hit him from there? That's such a shame. They need a bit more range. He's going to land on that explosive one in a second, isn't he? That's totally what he's going to do. I can see it coming. I've foreseen it. Here we go. Oh, wrong way. That's fine, though. There we go. There we go. That was what I was looking for. Um, is that it? Are they done? No, they're still going. Oh. How much more have they got left in the tank? Who knows? <laughs> We're about to find out. Are we going to reach 3,000 damage? Ah! 
No, just before, just before. What a shame. So I think that's the next, like, threshold we've got to get to before we unlock the next thing. So are these all, like, the different weapons you can get? They must be. So what's that? Is that the mace? And that's the axe? And what the fuck's that? Is that, like, a bear? I don't know. But this works well. I'm, I'm liking what we've got going here. But we need somewhere to just get that damage up a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Maybe we need some... A conveyor belt of spikes to draw him back over. But once he gets stuck here, and this one doesn't work anymore... I don't know. Let's just try this. Let's try it out. Oh, wait. No, he can't get over there now. No, he's just going to keep bouncing into that thing. Yeah. Well, this hasn't worked that well. Unless he gets over here. Yeah. Uh... They're still pelting him a bit. A little bit still. They're still doing it. And once they run out there, he kind of gets stuck there. And he can't really do anything. That's a real shame. That's the world's biggest tragedy. Alright, so we need... Let's rethink our strategy here. We definitely need... Uh, some miniguns to get this. What, what are we even looking for here? I think we're just trying to get the damage up, aren't we? So we don't even need to use just miniguns. I think crossbows work well for us. Let's do a combination of everything. So put two... We'll do a ceiling of crossbows. Uh, one wall of shotguns. Can we afford this? Yeah. Why not? One wall of shotguns. One wall of miniguns. We're using all the guns. Every single gun in the game. Uh, and now we need... A bunch of bouncers. Or jumpers, sorry. Uh, pushing him around. Uh, one pushing him in that direction. Maybe a couple actually pushing him that way. Uh, a couple pushing him that way. Um, a couple of bouncers pushing him up. Maybe some... Wait, we need something to keep him stuck there. Maybe we need some spikes. But where would we put the spikes? This is one of the biggest, like, uh, downfalls when you're making a mass murder machine, is that... Look, what, what are these spikes going to do? They're totally pointless in those areas. You know, this is one of the biggest, like, downfalls. You, you've got nowhere to put your spikes. It's just a real shame, isn't it? So we need him to be bounced uh, up. Preferably kept in place while these crossbows just rain hell. Um, but then again, we don't want to be caught. All right, let's just try this. Let's just try something like this. Oh my god, wow. In unison, those crossbows. Those crossbow bolts hit every every marker. Here we go. Oh my god, the spikes did come in handy. Oh, but they're out. That shotgun is the learned shotgun. The learned shotgun warrior. All the crossbows are gone. We need him to bounce over this way, where these machine guns are waiting, don't we? Come on. Yes. Ah, come on, please. We need him to hit those spikes up there. In the top right. That's ideal right now. I don't think it's going to happen there. Maybe. No, doesn't look like it. Oh, those shotguns and um, those miniguns are still getting their use there. There we go. Nice. I think we've done it. Can we get 3,000? Can we do it? Oh, Nelly, come on, please. Yes, there we go. We got the mace. All right, we got to try this mace out now. We'll let this do its thing. Let's speed it up a bit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look. Look how much damage we're doing. I think that's it there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it's it. There. Yeah. Oh. Holy. New weapon monster. Oh, my God. What? So, that's my maximum damage now. Let's have a look. Holy crap, we did a lot of damage there. Holy macaroni. All right, let's try. Oh, God, so much stuff. Monster? Oh, it's a little... <laughs> it's so small. The, the the little... The thumbnail makes it look like it's going to be massive. Oh, the little icon, sorry. Let's see what it does first. Oh. Oh, my God, they're like little piranha monster things. That's interesting. Okay, so obviously what we need to do here... Uh, let's just clear the... Clear the floor. What we need to do is uh, kind of keep him held in place. Um, yes, actually, where? Um, hmm. Hmm. We need to bounce him around. That's for sure. Let's do our old patented method. So you have one of those, one over here, one of those ones over. Oh no, over this way. Um, a couple more actually in between, just to keep him moving along. Uh, now we need. One's bouncing him up, like here, potentially. Uh, now we need some spikes, just to keep the damage going up top. All the way up there. So we'll do three on each side, or two on each side, and one in the middle there. Uh, and now, how do we... I want to use these maces as well. Alright, let's do the monsters. Let's put a bunch of monsters in, and just let them loose. 
let the horde loose. The horde of monsters loose. Uh, and then we need... Uh, let's try these things out. So, mace, what's... Oh, my God, what? What? What does this even do? I'm going to put here and here. I've got a real thing about symmetry. And an axe? Oh, my God, that looks amazing. We'll do that on the next turn, though, because that takes up a lot of money. It's got to take a big chunk out of our budget. All right, let's try this. There go the monsters. How high can they jump? What do they even do? Oh, they do, like, little amounts of damage. How long do they last? Are they affected by the bouncers as well? So many questions. Oh my god. They're not really doing much. Oh, he's caught on the mace. Oh my god, the monster's going. Oh my god, that's amazing. So he gets caught on the mace and he kind of hangs there. And then the monsters just feast on his like torso. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed with that idea, with that premise. Um, let's speed this up a bit. Give it a little speed up. Uh, and then we'll try uh, figure out something else. So let's th let this play out. Uh, I think what we're going to do next is use the axe. That's what I really want. Uh, are we going to hit that mace one more time? Oh no, they're both dead. They're duds now. How long do these monsters go on for? Like, what? Are they thinning out or? Oh no, no. They look like they're dying off. So if, if he's just laid there, they can still do damage, just not a whole lot, like 12 damage. Not a fantastic amount, not gonna lie. All right, let's uh, try out the axe. I'm eager, I'm eager to see how this does. All right, so let's delete all zerns. Axe. So he falls right onto it. So what does this do, like fling him? Let's just see what it does. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Oh my God, we're gonna make an absolute butcher shop right now of just axes. Um, wow. Shit. Alright, so we'll put some spikes here to keep him in place. I think he'll be able to hit that thing. Or maybe we should put bouncers instead. Uh, so, I don't know how long it takes for these things to like, run out. Um, oh God, which way should I put that one? So that's going to knock him that way. That one's going to push him back that way. Maybe we need some... Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Genius, you genius, Steve, you sexy, sexy man. So he's gonna get flung over that way. No, wait, wait. Hold on. He's gonna get flung over this way into my delightful trap. And the way we're gonna do this is he's gonna get bounced over. We're gonna have like a floor of bouncers to stop him from escaping. Uh, he's gonna get flung over this way. And we're gonna put a mace down, right? And it's gonna hang him right here. Uh, if not, spikes on the wall. That'll get caught in. Just like that. We'll put one here and here as well. The plan is for him to get stuck on the mace and then this axe to just shred him. Just absolutely shred his torso. Let's put these here. Actually, no, they aren't really doing much. Um, yeah, and maybe we should put like a block with like a mini gun on it just to keep him pushed over this side. Oh my God, I'm so sadistic, but God damn. Oh, right, here we go. Perfect. All right, now he needs to fall into the axe. Oh my god, what? Oh, it broke! It breaks so quickly! Oh, no way! Anyway, guys, I think that's all we got time for. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. And, all stuff. and I will see you in the next episode of Checkpoint. This has been Steve. That has been Happy Room. Checkpoint complete.